My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 1969 Chevelle Copo Tribute. It has a 427 motor in it. And let me tell you, the condition is out of this world. The fit and finish on this is second to none. Every square inch of this entire body is pristine. There's not a ripple, not a wave, not a crack, no shrinkage. It is amazing. All the gaps are precise. The guy spent 3,500 3,500 hours restoring this car. It has a total of about three miles on it since it's been done. The detail's amazing. Look at our pictures of the underside, the motor compartment. It's over the top, killer, killer car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can see all those pictures, read all the specs. And that's where you find the prices on all of our collector cars that we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, why don't you join me? Let's go for a spin. I forgot to bring it in with me, but I have a stack of receipts, a thick stack of real receipts for all the work that's been done on this car. Uh, and like I said, 3,500 hours he invested. His wife was crying when uh, I was buying the car from them. And so all the hard work he put into it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the body was taken off. It was flipped on a rotisserie and it was stripped. The chassis is unbelievable. Uh, the chassis is painted as smooth as most outside finishes are on other cars. Every component, the entire front end, the bushings, ball joints, shocks, uh, tie rod ends, uh, cutter pins, everything is done. Uh, same with the rear suspension, the springs, bushings, uh, shocks, uh, all of that's done. The fuel system's all new. The sending unit, the fuel lines, brakes are completely rebuilt, has disc in front, has a Gardner exhaust, that's a concourse uh, quality correct exhaust system with the cowbell tips in the back. You look up at the motor, it's immaculate. The oil pan is painted this nice. Uh, has a turbo 400 automatic trans that was all rebuilt. Uh, drive shaft, U-joints, all of that's rebuilt. Has a 12 bolt rear end that's all rebuilt. Under this car is immaculate. It is fresh, it is spotless. I want to say immaculate again, but you'll look at the pictures. You'll see for yourself. Now, like I was saying, the body is out of this world. That's what really sold me on the car. Again, he was telling me they actually measured the gaps to make sure they're precise all the way around and flush. Right down at the rockers to the roof, the body is absolutely pristine. Uh, Again, I didn't find any shrinking in the paint. I didn't find a fish eye or a blister or a piece of dust. I didn't find anything like that. This was born a Garnet red car with no vinyl top. This SS stripe you see on the side is normally a decal, but it's painted on correctly. Smooth to the touch, you don't feel it. The windshield and the rear window are new glass. The side windows he sent out to Florida it's like 750 bucks, had them professionally polished and restored. The stainless trim is straight, it's like chrome. It's not just your typical aftermarket moldings. I don't know if you had these restored or if they're new ones, but they're, they're like chrome, all the stainless trim, even at the bottom of the windshield. The wiper arms are beautiful. So every piece of chrome, the mirrors, door handles, marker lights, emblems, the grills up here, it's all been replaced. Show quality chrome on the bumpers. They're new reproduction SS wheels. They're 15 by seven in front, 15 by eight in back. BF Goodrich tires. 
the grill, bezels, all of this is restored, marker lights. Immaculate, just like the underside. The engine is a gloss Chevy orange. There's no grease, there's no peeling, there's no oxidation. It's fresh, it's immaculate. So the whole engine bay is smooth, uh, beautifully painted metal. The bottom side of the hood is red. It's just as slick as the top side. It has hood insulation. Now the motor that's in here, I have uh, receipts listing all the specifics that's been done to it. It's a 454 block built as a 427. They're identical blocks. It has Merlin heads, uh, all sorts of good quality parts in the motor. Again, it's listed on the website. Trunk compartment is absolutely pristine metal. The spatter finish paint, I don't know if they did it with a gun, but it's extremely nice. It's not just sloppy, done with a can. There's no overspray on anything. Uh, new wiring harness, the red underneath here, they must have wet sanded and buffed this stuff because the jams under the trunk lid is this nice. Has reproduction mat, weather strip, and sticker. Uh, the rim has been restored, has a uh, reproduction tire that's never been used for a spare. The jack is restored like new. So getting back to the motor, uh, it's got a uh, correct aluminum intake for the 427, has correct exhaust manifolds that have been jet hot coated, has little shields around the plugs, has the uh, date coated plug wires, uh, it has a new Holly carburetor. Uh, the valve covers, covers are not reproduction, they were actually sent out and chromed. Uh, it has a full set of deep groove pulleys that a 427 would have. It has power steering, power brakes with a cadmium plated booster. And the wiper motor is immaculate, the squirters are hooked up, all the wiring's new. It has spring clamp battery cables, fuel pump, pulleys, horns, everything in here is immaculate. The jams are painted like glass, hinges are rebuilt, new weather strips, new seals, everything just fits and lines up really well too. New carpet down on the floor, reproduction uh, Chevy floor mats, has a complete set of original GM seat belts that came with the car. Matter of fact, uh, we have the original window sticker, protecto plate, and build sheet for the original car. Uh, he did put the SS gauge package in there, uh, so all new wiring throughout. Has a rebuilt tilt column with a reproduction steering wheel. The whole dash area is real nice. The instrument panels replaced, dash pads new. Door panels are all new, the armrests, window cranks, handles. Headliner, visors, mirror, all that's new. The dome light works. It's got Merlin heads on it. Got a bunch of good stuff in the motor. I don't remember all the specs right off the top of my head. Uh, the power steering, uh, the gearbox is replaced. Uh, it has box control arms in back. If you are fussy and you like a car that's worthy of being parked in your living room, that's this car right here. Seat feels nice and firm.
got to be here to see this one for yourself. To just see how nice the hinges are. To see the, the wiper arms just touching the car. I know you don't want to touch them, but man, this thing just slicked like Teflon. I did an amazing job. That's my impression of this 69 Chevelle Copo Tribute. For those that don't know, Copo is Central Office Production Order. The biggest motor you could get in one of these was a 396, but if you knew how, you could special order a 427. So that's what this car is a tribute to. Uh, it's built just like a Copo 427 would have been. You can go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to ask. They'd be happy to help you out the best they can. We have financing, we have shipping available, so go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.